quiet, today is finally here. We've been planning this moment for years. It feels like just yesterday when we were kids falling in love, and now you're becoming my husband, and I'm becoming your wife. There's no one on earth I would rather spend my life with. These past five years have been the best years of my life, and I can't wait to make a lifetime of memories with you. I can't wait to see you at the altar. Love, your soon-to-be bride. Well, as a mom, I've, you know, dreamt of this moment my son's whole life. So here goes. <laughs> Wyatt, as we celebrate this day, I wonder where all the time has gone. Recently, I've reflected on all stages of your life, your sweet life. And of course, I shed some tears as well as smiled. Being your mom has given me joy that you will someday experience. There are no words fitting enough to describe what you mean to your mom. Just know that I will love you unconditionally always. <laughs> and now I have Jennifer to love as well. I feel so fortunate to have her as a daughter-in-law. Thank you for bringing her into our family and us into hers. I know the years to come will be a wonderful adventure, not only for you, but for all of us. People that know me know that I've felt that God has watched over and blessed me for my whole life. I don't think that anything has been more rewarding than the three children that he gave me. And to watch them grow, flourish, and become the human beings they are has just been a, a real joy in my life. Something that is just overwhelming. A couple of people asked me today, well, are you sad that Jennifer's getting married? And I said, no, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier because she picked just a wonderful man to marry. And I think that they are going to have such a tremendous life together. And I guess my wish for them would be that they love each other, they communicate with each other, they never go to bed angry, that they would have love in their heart and joy in their soul. Um, I like to keep this short and sweet and uh, just really from the heart, Wyatt growing up was not the easiest brother to have. <laughs> but uh, I'd say in the past five years, we've really grown very close together. I think we have a bond that I will never share with another person. And getting to know Jen and her family has been great. I don't think there's anybody else for either of them. I think they're perfect for each other. Both wonderful people, and I think that really reflects of how they were raised, the families that brought them up. And I really think They've enriched a lot of people's lives, looking at all the people they brought together. You know, it's a beautiful thing. I'd like to say how happy I am for my sister and my new brother, Wai Pashinsky. <laughs> Truly an honor. Um, my now brother and sister are some of the finest people I know. Next to my father, James Warner. I have not a single doubt in my mind that Jen and Wyatt will continue to grow, prosper, and build a very fruitful relationship. Uh, these individuals are a, <sighs> forgive me. <laughs> these individuals are a prime example of strength, love, and devotion. <laughs> they have both put an enormous amount of effort to foster and promote a healthy bond and a pure connection. So cheers to a beautiful beginning. Cheers. Dear Jen, you're the most wonderful person I know, and I'm not just saying that. You're the most selfless, hold on. <laughs> the most selfless, wonderful, dedicated, hardworking. I can come to you with anything, and I appreciate that with all that I am. Anytime I have any struggles in life, I know I can come over to your guys' house, and you guys are both there for me, and it's just super great. First time I met Jen was in um, BCHS, Mr. Strope's history class, and she was like sitting in front of me, and she was literally talking about Wyatt, and we were just sitting like this, and then I was like, oh my god, tomorrow you're sitting by me, and we're like best friends. First time I met Wyatt, we were chilling at Jen's, and Wyatt just comes over on his bike with his friends with his long curly hair and like a backwards hat, came over, gave Jen a kiss, and left. And I was like, that's your boyfriend? Who is this kid? Like, okay, bye, nice to meet you, like what? And then you guys like had your time alone, like separated from each other, and I remember Jen was like, dude, 
I saw Wyatt at Target. I just like can't deal with myself. I am just like, oh, you know, like I just don't know. I just don't know, blah, blah, blah. It was just this whole thing of it just perfectly, perfectly working out. You guys are so strong and wonderful and Wyatt, you're such an amazing human. Like, you're so kind-hearted and one of the most funniest humans I know. We're always on the same page. Road rage is our thing. We'll both be driving out of town like, ah, <laughs> at the person in front. Like, are you kidding me? All that set aside. We have such a great time together and you guys have brought together seriously the most wonderful people together and I'm just so grateful. And you guys are so great and you're Mrs. Pashinsky, all right? <laughs>
Whom therefore God hath joined together, let no man ever put asunder. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. And now by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now declare that Wyatt and Jennifer are husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Wyatt Pashinsky. A little story about when Wyatt was born, he was the second, you know, doesn't make him any better or worse than his brother. I mean, he was not the firstborn, he was the second born. And uh, if Wyatt would have been the firstborn, we would only had one child. <laughs> he, he was, uh, I mean, we had to leave Huntington Beach one time because it was clearing out because he was crying so much. So it's good to see him turn out to be such a wonderful young man and find a beautiful, lovely bride like Jen. Honestly, I've been friends with these guys for like 10 years and you know what they say. If you're friends with people for more than 10 years, you're with them for like the rest of your life and you guys are stuck with me. I'm sorry about that. I feel so close to both of you. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be a groomsman or a bridesmaid. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't look that great in a dress. But uh, no, honestly, I love these guys so much. Like Jennifer, like they're so considerate of me, I think. I remember we were in high school and we were, it was a rainy day during lunch. We all had to eat at the gym. So we're just leaning up against the wall and stuff like that. And Jen was like, so she has like her little Jen face of just like, so like, I have to tell you something. She's like, she's like, um, are you seeing anybody? And I'm like, no. And she's like, and I'm like, are you? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, She's like, yes. And I'm like, Wyatt. And they're like, how'd you know? And I knew because like every time we hung out together, the way they looked at each other, they didn't think I knew, but I genuinely knew. Like, that's love. These guys are the definition of love. Wow, you guys. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. Get a good feeling Never giving in, giving up's not an option, gotta get 
get it in Witness, I got the heart of 20 men No fear, go to sleep in the lion's den That glow, that spark, that crown You're looking at the king of the jungle now Stronger than ever, can't hold me down A hundred miles gunning from the pitcher's mouth Straight game face, it's game day See me running through the crowd full of melee No trick plays, I'm Bill Gates Take a genius to understand me Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling Yeah Get a good feeling, yeah.